We ran into some issues with some uh, heating, but um, we figured it out. It was just a grounding issue on uh, on the radiator fan, but we got it. We got it ready just in time for qualifying, um, which I'll have you know, I qualified ahead of the old man in the Ferrari. the The old Mustang is actually she's ready to rock, man. We 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 ran our tech speed. Um, she hunkered down, she loved the West Texas Road. We even softened the suspension up a little bit to save my neck after that, but um, I mean, everything's kind of culminating to, you know, Saturday, you know, settling this grudge match. Uh, the whole experience of coming to the Big Bend Open Road Race has been pretty cool. From the volunteers to, I mean, obviously the racers, anybody out there who's ever been a part of racing knows that outside of the competitive aspect of on track, everybody's always super helpful and super welcoming. So we've had tons of folks, you know, help us out with little little odds and ends and hopefully we've repaid it with with some of our stuff um but we've been we've been selling a lot of race fuel to a lot of these folks i think everybody's excited to have us here we're excited to be here uh i know my dad and i's ohio blood is definitely boiling down here in this west texas heat um but you know we're, we're almost there six months is culminating into saturday and we we, we settle the battle of big men grudge match so Follow along, we'll be there soon. Okay, all right, Friday. We made it to Fort Stockton. Trailers are all set up, cars are tucked away, fueled up. We probably should wipe some of the bugs off so at least we look good. Um, but we're headed to the driver's meeting right now. And they got a, they got a pretty cool car show going on. So we don't... They got a lot of beautiful cars here. Yeah, and, there's uh, some... The 707s one that's up. Yeah, there's some Cadillac, uh, looks like an old, like a prototype of some yeah. sort. You can definitely tell the cars that are in the unlimited class. And uh, ones have been here before. But we're rookies, we so rookies. <laughs> we, uh, we have to run in the touring class. So, uh, no, this would be pretty cool. We got, we got the driver's meeting, and then we got the parade. And, the and then we gotta, we gotta go have, to sleep. We gotta have candy for the kids. So yeah, that's yeah, of course. Uh, uh, and then we got to go to bed because we got to be back up here at 5 a.m. Uh, to get the grid. To get on the grid. So one more day. One more day. Sleep tonight. Yep. I'm excited. All right. Uh, this is kind of crazy that it's kind of crazy to see how many of y'all showed up from a <laughs> kicking a random invite out to everybody that we that I've known from every period of my life from my old college roommate to <laughs> new Columbus rugby friends um, thank you guys for being here um, most of all if you haven't met them Brian and Chase I only did about 10% of the work. Uh, Chase did the other 80 and then Brian filled in the rest. Like, uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, you know, this, this has been kind of a crazy thing that kicked off, well, I mean, Logan told us about the Big Ben Open Road Race a long time ago. And it's one of those things where we just kind of kept talking about it, we should do it. Uh, Dan and I have been talking about it for a while. That'd be so cool. and. I don't know what really made us want to do it this year, but uh, I wouldn't have been able to do it without these guys. I called Brian, I was like, dude, I got a crazy idea. How long do you need to turn an old, rusty, six-year-old car into a real race car? And you guys helped me pull it off, so thank you very much. Um, then I got people like Garrett that drove down on a Harley from Columbus, Ohio, and then uh, for all of my Florida rugby crew that had the day from hell for travel, I swear to God we'll make up for it tomorrow and tonight and Sunday. But uh, I can't tell you, this is pretty cool. 
to have so many of you guys here. I, I don't think I'll get real emotional, but it, I appreciate everybody being here. Uh, I'm too dried out to cry at this point. I've been in the desert for like a week, so I don't think I have uh, any more tears, but uh, thank you guys so much. Tomorrow will be fun. Uh, Saturday, we're all gonna get crazy. Uh, Sunday will be a blast. Dan, Dan and Logan figured out where we're gonna be running around and we'll rip around in the Mustang if anybody wants to take it for a ride. And hey, you know, here's the going fast and not dying, right? No, thank you. Thank you guys, I love you.